What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're going to be drawing the original Iron Man Model 1 suit from 1963. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eyes. We're going to leave a large gap in the center and draw two lines. One on the left, and then one over on the right. Now from the top, we're going to angle up and out towards the outside of the eye. To right about there. And do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to draw a straight line coming down, but we're going to line up with the inside of the eye. Come all the way down. Do the same thing on the right side. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now you want to show some thickness on the outside edge of the eye. So starting at the top, go straight down. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll fill the inside of the eyes in black. Now we're gonna move down and draw the opening for the mouth. Starting back on the left side, we're gonna draw a straight line. Going across, towards the right. Let's come down with a short line. And we'll close off the bottom. Let's fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now we're going to leave a gap and draw a small square on the outside. Starting from the top, we'll step out, draw a straight line coming down on both sides. Go across the top, down the side, and then in. Let's fill those squares in black. All right, now that we got the details of the face, we're gonna move out and draw the outside of the helmet. So from the bottom corner of the mouth, we're gonna step out. I'm just gonna curve down in the middle. We just wanna pull that back up on the right side. And then from here, we go straight up the side of the head. Start on the left, straight up towards the top, right about there. Do the same thing on the right, going up towards the same height. And then we'll close off the top of the head with a half circle. Starting back on the left, I'm going to round up the top of the head, come across, and then down on the right. Let's add a metallic reflection across the helmet. We're going to start on the right side at the top of the head. I'm just going to follow the same curve of the head coming around and all the way down towards the bottom. And then we'll go back up to the top. We're just going to taper this so it gets wider as it comes around the side of the head. And then we'll come straight down. Let's fill that inside area in black. Now let's move over towards the left. We're going to line up the top over on the left side. Start with a point. From here, I'm just going to follow that same curve of the head going around and then down just up above the eye. Let's go back to the top. I'm just going to thicken this up in the middle and then back down. And we'll fill that inside area in black. And I'm also going to add a small reflection over on the bottom left. Starting out here, start with a straight line coming down. Go back to the top. We're going to bend this down and then in. And then we'll fill this all in black. All right, now we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start on the left side, just underneath the head. We curve out and then down towards the left hip. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right hip. Now let's close off the bottom. Starting back on the left, come down in the middle and back up on the right. Let's go back to the left hip. We're going to step up and just trace that same curve going across and then up on the right. Let's add some detail to the belt. Leave a gap in the center, we draw two lines, one on the left and then one on the right. Now we step out and draw one more line on either side. Let's draw a line going across the center of this square. Starting on the left, we go straight across. Now we go to the outside, 
curve out and up. So splitting those sides in half. We're also gonna add a small circle on the left and right side. Now we're gonna move up to the center of the body and add a circle, starting just underneath the chin in the middle. Draw that circle, going all the way around, and back up towards the top. Now let's trace that out on the inside. Let's add two small rivets on the bottom corners, one on the left, and then one on the right. Let's add some reflection on the top left. From the top of the body, we're gonna step in, just follow the same curve coming down towards that rivet, and we'll just taper that back up underneath the head, and we'll fill that area in black. Let's add a small reflection over on the right, starting underneath the head, draw a short curve coming down, taper that back up, and then fill that in black. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we're gonna step down, draw a short line from left to right, going across. Let's go back to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the heel, and come down, and then bend the foot going up. Do the same thing on the right, come down, and then up. Now we're gonna go back to the side and draw the top of the foot. Starting from the toe, we're gonna go up. Just gonna round out the foot and then come down, aiming towards the heel. And then we'll bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the toe, we'll go all the way up to the top. Bend that down. And we'll curl that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now we're gonna move back up to the hips and draw on the side of the leg. Let's start from the left hip, curve out, and then pull that straight down on top of the foot. Now we want to add a thick sole along the bottom of each foot. We're going to take this curve from the toe, we'll step up, just trace that across on both sides. And then we'll add a seam across the foot, starting from the top, just going to curve in and then down towards the sole. Let's move back up to the top corners of the lower torso, starting on the left, we're going to curve up and out just underneath the hip and we'll do the same thing on the right. And then we'll separate the upper and lower leg, starting on the left, and curve down and back up, and line this up on the right, and do the same thing. Now I wanna add the inside edge of the knee. Starting from the outside, we're gonna step up, just follow that same curve coming in about halfway along the leg, and we'll angle down and in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping up, just trace that same curve coming across, Angle down and in. Let's add some reflections across the leg. Starting from the top of the hip, we're going to step in, just follow the same curve, coming down towards the knee, and then we'll taper that back up underneath the belt. Let's fill that all in black. Let's do the same thing over on the right, but we're going to go about halfway. Stepping in, curve down, taper that back up, and then fill that in black. We're also going to add the reflection along the inside of the leg. Let's start from the heel on the left, step out, just follow the same curve going up, and then we'll taper that back down, and we'll fill that in black. Let's draw a smaller one over on the right, stepping out, curve up towards the knee, come back down, and fill that in black. I'm just going to add a few rivets across the leg. Let's start with the front of the foot, add a small circle, and the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move up just underneath the knee, we'll add one more. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway down the side of the body on the left, start by curving out and then down towards the wrist, line this up on the right and do the same thing, going out and then down. Now we're gonna go back to the left side and draw on the thumb. From the wrist, we're gonna draw a small half circle, curving in and back out. At the end of the thumb, we'll add a bracket. Let's do the same thing on the right. Draw that small half circle, and then a bracket. And then we'll add three fingers on either side. Let's start at the bottom of the thumb, 
her down and then up around the bracket. Step down, go out, and then up. And then the third finger, we're gonna go out, pull the arm up, and then in underneath the head on the left. Let's do the same thing on the right. On the first finger, go out and out for the second. And again, we're gonna go out, up, and in underneath the head. Now let's add some detail to the arms. We're gonna start at the top of the thumb, and curve up, and then out. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna step up and just trace that same curve coming back in. Let's separate out the forearm. On the inside, we're gonna curve up and bend that out. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now let's separate out the shoulder. Starting from the inside of the arm at the very top, curve out and up. Do the same thing on the right. I just wanna split this in half. From the middle, go up in between. And then we'll add some reflection along the outside of the arm. Starting from the top underneath the shoulder, we'll step down, curve out, and then down towards the wrist. And then we'll taper that back up, and then fill that in black. Let's do the same thing over on the right. Starting off at the top, step down, curve across, and then down. And we'll taper that back up, Fill that in black. And then we'll add some rivets. Let's start on the left side. Add one rivet on the bottom. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna move up. Throw one along the upper arm on both sides. And that's pretty much it. There's our Iron Man Model 1 suit from 1963. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.